refinings are substances that are usually added at or near the completion of the processing of brewing wine, beer, and various non-alcoholic juice beverages. Their purpose is for removal of organic compounds, either to improve clarity or adjust flavor aroma. Specifically, the removed compounds may be sulfides, proteins, polyphenols, benzenoids, or copper ions. Unless they form a stable bottom sediment in the final container, the spent finings are usually discarded from the beverage along with the target compounds that they capture. Historically, various substances such as egg whites, blood, milk, isinglass, and Irish moss have been used as finings. These are still used by some producers, but more modern substances have also been introduced and are more widely used, including bentonite, gelatin, casein, carrageenan, alginate, diatomaceous earth, pectinase, pectolease, PVPP, chiazelsol, copper sulfate, dried albumin, hydrated yeast, and activated carbon. Actions Their actions may be broadly categorized as either electrostatic, adsorbent, ionic, or enzymatic. The electrostatic types comprise the vast majority, including all but activated carbon, thinning yeast, PVPP, copper sulfate, pectinase and pectolase. Their purpose is to selectively remove proteins, tannins and coloring particles. They must be used as a batch technique, as opposed to flow-through processing methods such as filters. Their particles each have an electric charge which is attracted to the oppositely charged particles of the colloidal dispersion that they are breaking. The result is that the two substances become bound as a stable complex. Their net charge becoming neutral. Thus the agglomeration of a semi-solid follows, which may be separated from the beverage either as a floating or settled mass. The only adsorbent types of finings in use are activated carbon and specialized thinning yeasts. Although activated carbon may be implemented as a flow-through filter, it is also commonly utilized as a batch ingredient, which later must be separated and discarded from the beverage. It can completely partially remove benzenoid compounds and all classes of polyphenols non-specifically, decolorizing and deodorizing juices and wines. Traditionally, yeast thinning has involved the addition of hydrated yeasts used as adsorption agents. Consisting of approximately 30% protein, yeast cell walls have a chemical affinity with wine compounds, such as those that may be polyphenolic or metallic. Indeed, yeast thinning is a practical means of removing excess copper ions when copper sulfate is used to bind selected volatile sulfur compounds. The ionic finings are copper sulfate and PVPP. When dissolved in aqueous beverages, Copper sulfates copper ions can chemically bind undesirable sulfides. The resulting complexes must be removed by other finings. The action of PVPP appears to be through the formation of hydrogen bonds between its carbonyl groups and the phenolic hydrogens of the polyphenols. It attracts the low molecular weight polyphenols rather than the condensed tannins and leucanthocyanins that are removed by gelatin. The enzymatic finings are pectin and pectinase. They aid in destroying the large polysaccharide molecule named pectin, which otherwise causes haze in fruit wines and juices. They are among the few findings that are added before juices are fermented. Nutritional and Vegetarian Concerns Unfortunately, beneficial antioxidant flavonoids are removed by some findings. Quercetin is removed from red wines via the findings gelatin, casein, and PVPP to reduce astringent flavors. If other thinning methods are used, the quercetin remains in the wine. Similarly the catechin flavonoids are removed by PVPP and other findings that target polyphenolic compounds. In the absence of animal products used here labels, vegetarians may be unaware that the processing of a commercially produced beverage may have utilized animal-based findings, either gelatin, casein, albumin, or rising glass. Notes, the term is a mass noun rather than a plural. See also, Clarifying Agent. References. External links, Enology Notes No. 46, by Bruce O. Eckline, Virginia Cooperative Extension Service, May 17, 2002, Bentonite Finning of Juice and Wine, by Bruce O. Eckline, Virginia Cooperative Extension Service, Pub. 463-014, 1988 Common Wine and Beer Finings, 
Colloidal Stabilization of Beer, The Brewer International, January 2002, Finning Agents for Wine, by J. R. Morris and G. L. Main, Proceedings at the 14th NM Conference, 1995, Finning, by Ben Rotter, The Use of Gelatin in Wine Finning, by C. G. B. Cole.